Hey everybody, wanted to share with you how to use Google Maps to map out destinations and or some sightseeing uh, tours, some points of interest that you want to take a look at and get the fastest route and or be able to see what the route actually is. So the main reason I'm making this map or making this video right now is because my mom is a traveling nurse and she cannot figure out how to use this in order to map out the fastest way for her to see her clients. For the rest of you, maybe this is a great way if you're in a city or whatnot to map out all of the points of interest that you want to go see and figure out the fastest and most efficient way to get there. So I need, let's pretend that I'm at the University of Oregon right now in Eugene, Oregon, home of the ducks, and I need to get some directions to my first point of interest. So my first point of interest is uh, gonna be North Grand Street. So I've got to click on this directions button here and I see that I've got North Grand Street right here. I've already inputted North Grand Street, by the way. And it's got me going from North Grand Street to the University of Oregon. I want to change that right away. And the way that I can do that is I hover over this section on the left-hand side here, this pinpoint, and I can drag it to reorder where I want it to go. So I'm going to drag it over up, to up top here. And you notice out on the map that Google immediately makes an adjustment to my route. Now, my route has some yellow areas and sometimes some red areas. The yellow areas are slowdowns and the red areas are traffic. Um, just know that when you're looking at the map. But I also have some other things that I want to see in town while I'm there and I want to figure out what the best route to take is. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more destinations. And I do that by clicking on this plus button right here where it says add destination. I click on that and one of the things that I want to see while I'm there is uh, 2320 Madison. There it is, 2320 Madison. And then you notice again on the map here, Google goes ahead and figures in a new route for that. Starting at the U of O, running out to North Grand Street and then down to Madison Street. Now I can reorder these. Let's say I want to go see Madison Street first. Uh, maybe it's a museum or something that has a closing time and I need to make sure to get there before the other places. Anyway, I can reorganize them again just like I did before by dragging and reordering this list. I'm going to go ahead and add in a few more points that I want to visit while I'm there. 2825 uh, High Street. Yep, there you are. Let's put one more destination in there. 4848 uh, East Amazon Drive. There it is, love that. <clears throat> now you notice that based on my list, Google is giving me the path that, I want, that, that it thinks is the fastest and best way to get there. Now I can go ahead and say, well, I wanted to go to 48, East Amazon Drive before anything else. And I do that again by reordering my list. And of course, Google has immediately made adjustments to my path. Now, maybe it makes sense if I'm trying to do this in the most efficient way, it doesn't make sense to go from 4848 all the way out here to North Grand. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag High Street up and I'll drag Madison up and therefore, I'll make this nice loop in town and end up at North Grand at the end. Okay, so I hope this helps you figure out how to map out locations in a town. One of the things I didn't explain is that if, let's say, you're in downtown San Francisco and you want to find out how long it takes, this is driving time, 25 minutes, but maybe you want to find out how long it takes to walk to certain areas, you can just click on the walking symbol up here and it will recalculate your route for the best walking and give you an estimated time. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day.